you're thinking about making a move to Greensboro, North Carolina, and you are looking for a historical neighborhood, well, you are gonna wanna check out this video. Today, I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of Fisher Park, a historical neighborhood here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and you are going to want to check it out. My name is Meredith Parsons. I'm a realtor. I live here. I love it here. I want you to move here and love it here as much as I do. If you could do this, it would be so awesome and I would be so grateful if you could like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because each week I'm going to be taking you on a little tour, a little adventure of all things Greensboro Triad area, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Are you ready to go check out the Fisher Park? Let's go. today in Fisher Park and I have saved the best historical neighborhood for last. I've shown you the top three. This one is my favorite so I saved the best for last. If you have not seen the other videos go check them out. The first one was College Park, College Hill and the second one was Dunleith and then the I saved the best for last is Fisher Park. So Fisher Park is one of the first subdivisions here in Greensboro. And at first start up, it's right down in, right in the middle of downtown. So you are so close to all the things um, downtown. So, but it's definitely a neighborhood. Like it feels like a neighborhood, right? I mean, just here's the pan of how beautiful it is here. All the houses. And downtown is right down there. So because it's so close to downtown, a lot of the houses um, were starting to get renovated into buildings or they were demolishing them and then building buildings because you're, you're downtown, there's office buildings. So in 1992 and then in 1996, they further moved out and saved some of the buildings so that they could be under the um, Preservation Society of being a historical home. So right now, let me tell you about the houses. So the houses range, so they have townhouses here, which are 138,000, or we are going up to like well over a million for a house. So it runs a whole wide variety of pricing here. And it's just, these historical homes just fill me with so much joy. Like, look at these brick. Are they not gorgeous? Like, look at that house. But look at how pretty this house is. But you can see it overlooks the park. So let's walk over here. And you can see over in the distance, those are much bigger houses than what we were, I was walking down that street down here. But so here's the park. And you can see the stream going through it. There's two different schools, like just like last week when we checked out Dunleith. Dunleith, um, this one kind of spans two different school districts. So you're either going to be going to Lindley Elementary or you'd be going to Irving Park Elementary. And then for middle school, you'd be going to Kaiser or you'd be going to Swan Middle, which is what was in the, you got a shot of that in the Dunleith video. And then, um, you're definitely slotted for Grimsley for your high school. So go early and my kids go there. So, um, yeah. And I just love the fact that you can walk around There's sidewalks, there's trees everywhere. It is gorgeous in the spring. I wish it was spring, but today's a pretty day anyway. So we're okay with it. Right? So, um, you're 13 minutes to the airport. You are half a mile from downtown. You could walk, everywhere it's a really great location so if you are looking for a historical home this one's my favorite and i i also like that the lots are different sizes and i feel like some of them are bigger some of them are smaller sandwiched together so you kind of get to pick and choose what you want and i also feel like in these older neighborhoods you get to have these established landscaping um which may not be everyone's cup of tea. You could always pay someone to take care of it, but you're paying for the old trees and you're paying for the landscaping and the shrubs and the ivy. And I mean, just look at this behind us. You've got that gorgeous magnolia. 
you've got boxwoods, you've just got all the pretty things. I mean, look at the slate roof on that house over there. Um, just like in Dunleith, you know you're in Fisher Park because they've got the street signs. Why don't I go drive you around and show you the houses and um, then I will go show you some stomping grounds that are close by. Places you can go and eat, go to a bar, go see some baseball. I'm going to take you around the corner to one of my old stomping grounds because I only lived a mile that way um, when I had my first apartment when I got out of college. And I'm gonna show you uh, one of my favorite restaurants and they have live music and so that's fun. And right next door is a good pizza joint. Here's the downtown fitness and gym. Here's an old watering hole called Fisher's Grill and they've got great bar food and drinks. And then right here is the corner slice. Food and drinks and great pizza. Knowing that you were this close to the first national baseball stadium, it's right here. Check it out. And when they have home games on the weekends, you can see fireworks from your house. Fun fact, there are at least half a dozen, if not more churches, just right around this neighborhood within like a block away. I mean, there's one behind us. My church is a block that way. There's one right there. So church thing, there's a plethora around. I appreciate you sticking to the end. I hope you learned all the things that you wanted to learn about Fisher Park Historical Neighborhood. And if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. I appreciate you. Bye.